Hello and welcome to a little demonstration of Game Guru again and this time I'm going to be displaying water demonstrating what you can do with water so as we know in Game Guru water is rather rubbish I mean let me show you okay we're in we've got a really flat awful looking map apart from the edges that I've sort of played with and there's the water and it, it sort of looks a bit like water it's got a bit of reflection um, the the edges to the um, scenery are absolutely terrible and need scaling but I'm sure that's been dealt with at some point but that's not what I'm trying to show you this is water it looks okay it looks a bit like water in places there's there's the water on the edge there but apart from that hmm it's pretty rubbish so that's normal water as vanilla ganguru gives it you now we'll try it with a little bit more so I'm going to change the shader I'm using and hopefully that will give us a little bit better water so as you can imagine I've actually made some water scripts well, I've edited the existing water script and I, I thought I'd just change it around a bit so mostly it's it's this area where we're looking um, I've changed, no, I haven't really changed that, I've changed the scale a bit and I've changed the tint, well actually yeah a little bit to be more blue for this one so let's just save that as um, just nice bit of X blah 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 sorry I'm talking to myself so yeah waterbasic.fx all files so you, you can get it saved properly in notepad and save yep we want to save that go back into game guru and run that and hey presto, my job is done. Water is now better. Look at that. Beautiful blue. It's got some motion. It's still rubbish at the edges, but what can you do? I'm only playing with these water settings. I don't know what I'm doing properly with it. Deary me. I try. I really do. But you know, you can see the sort of that's where the waves end We've got this big edge which is good to a degree apart from the fact that it's crap so that needs improving the developers can improve this I probably might be able to if I've spent enough time working out why this water edge doesn't meet the actual edge properly but yeah I'm not going to go into a um, weirdness of game guru um, although I could because here we go I'm under the water you can see there actually it's looking better since I've changed my shader but here that looks like it's it's sort of like not underwater when it is so there's obviously a dramatic effect between just the height of the terrain and the actual effect of the water one can argue that that water does not look a lot better and a lot more like an ocean which is the effect I'm after um, there's plenty of things to do to play around with this shader um, I'm, I've never got it to work perfectly I mean that, that lens flare effect sort of washes everything out it's okay but it doesn't quite look right I don't, it doesn't look right anyway yeah that's water it's looking lots better as you can see there we go it's an ocean and I can't <laughs> die as, as normal in game guru when you do that so there we go right now let's change it to a different one so we'll go to lava I made this lava and we'll just save this as water basic 
and make sure it's not under text documents and save yes please back into game guru and now run this will look a little bit different I hope there we go lava that looks lovely well sort of but yeah it looks like lava it looks what well. it looks really um, glowy and orange and lovely um, still got this slight issue of it being completely transparent at the edge why why I've looked into the shader file well I'll, you know we'll, we'll look into more of that in a sec but it, I mean I, I don't profess to be any expert in shaders I really don't um, but I'm not quite certain it looks great round here look, look at that that looks awesome that looks white well almost but you know that's getting there Star Wars Phantom Menace, here we come. Well, not quite. It's not even Phantom Menace, I suppose. There was no lava in that, to my knowledge. I don't think there was. No. But yeah, looking loud's better. Glowy orange, lovely. If you want lava, see? But yeah, that's just an example. We'll get out of that to show you how you can tweak your shader file, so obviously that's water basic, I don't think it's updated to these, but it might, no, no it hasn't, it doesn't matter, that's the original one, and these are the ones I've just changed it to, and all I've really changed is, is in this bit, so uh, I've changed the, uh, the bump value in this one to 2.82 instead of 0 0.02, and in this one I've changed it to 6.48, I couldn't tell you if that's actually good or not but it works you can increase obviously you can increase the bump rate uh, and it works better but whether I've got above a maximum there I don't know but I know that it works better it still looks better at 6 than it does at 2 so I'm just going by trial and error um, and that's pretty much it. The only other thing I've done is I've changed the water tint. So in this, it's set at 7771. This is 66691. And in this one, it's 2.55. For some strange reason, I'll set it to that. I was thinking of 255. 0 to 255 limit generally for RGB, which this technically is. Um, but I, I don't know. It might be the maximum. But that's fully red, as far as I know. And then that's at 1, 0, 0 0.5, 1. I assume if I set that to 0.5 or something, it'd be more transparent on the end there. That's the transparency, I'm guessing, and those are the RGB values. Same in all of them. Um, that's all I've done. That's literally all I've done. I've gone into the shader file, and I've just changed a few settings in this tweak setting, which has been nicely pointed out by the author evolved um, and you can get some seriously different effects as you can see I went from blue sea well I went from default sea to blue sea to lava and it looks pretty good in the main it's not bad for tweaking a couple of numbers in a shader file and you know if you you know you're not really feeling like doing that sort of thing, that's fair enough. But you know, if you want to have a play, just realise you can have a play and you will get drastic differences in what you can achieve in game gear. Because I'm sure a lot of people, if you ask them, oh yeah, could you just change the uh, water to lava? It'd be, no, I don't think I can it's not as easy as it looks and although my feet are obviously impervious to lava if I go into it I will die <laughs> but that's just because you die in water I stand but yes anyway that's my video and um, hopefully it'll help you out with playing around with water settings so until next time I'll catch you later
just a quick addendum just in case you thought well he hasn't really explained many features in that well here's the water when it's running at a speed a bit more rivery like it's not really what I was after for sea so that's why I hadn't done it but basically you can make the water move along at a certain speed you can see it's, it's sort of wibbling along there looks quite nice and all I've done is in the same thing I've gone to water basic I've gone to float to speed one and I've changed it from whatever it was before to 0 0.055 I think it was 1.5 before as default yet yeah, 1.5 it's the same in those um, and you can change all of those obviously that's I'm assuming the X movement that could be the Y movement that would be I'm not sure and then the Z movement I've not, I'm actually played with these um, and I haven't got time to get into that but you know you can play around with all these values in here and get what you want uh, and it changes them quite significantly so yeah definitely worth looking at definitely worth playing with um, and you can see it's not easy it's, well it's not easy it's quite easy um, all you've got to do is play around with some of these these values in here it's been designed to be altered um, by the author which is evolved um, I assume he was big in FPS creator the original um, I haven't seen him around in game guru as such but oh, I could be wrong it could be a different username but yeah he, he did the shader for this and um, it's pretty nice I've never really played with shaders before this is my first attempt to ever really play with them and uh, I keep forgetting to face the mic because this is a new mic and um, although it's better it picks up things too well like my clicks and my mouse clicks but I'll hopefully sort that out and anyway yes so yeah you can get your water moving nicely although it's still blue here I don't know why it's still blue in the editor when it's clearly not blue when it's run but that's another thing you know there we go I can't I can't I can't explain that one so yeah until next time I'll definitely catch you later